We're here this evening um, to discuss what is your problem. Yeah, guys, what's your problem? What's up? How can uh, we help? So, you know what? All right, Claire, are you ready? You want to take some calls? Yeah, let's take a call or let's two. Let's take some calls. Uh, if you got problems, hit us up. You know, Chloe is older than me. She's wiser than me. <laughs> that's and what she, I said yesterday. That's what she said. We got into a fight yes. the other day, and Chloe told me that she was wiser than me. Yeah. So I brought her on here to prove it. Putting no, a lot I'm of pressure, right. but we'll see. Call from Mars. Mars? Mars? Hi. <laughs> How are Mars? you, Mars? Is that your name? Um, It's short for something else, but I really like Nar- Mars. I think it's cool. Yeah, because it's like the, um, the planet. Is it short for... Uh, not to not to you know put you on blast here. Is it short for Marissa? <laughs> no. Oh my gosh, that name sounds horrific. <laughs> <laughs> Why come up? What, 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 what wow! Is your, what is if it your short name for? is Marissa, put it in the chat that your name is Marissa, because this girl so just you. obliterated you. Damn. What, oh. what um, I have a friend named Marissa. Marissa, if you're watching, shout out to you. So, that's cool. Um, Mars, what's your problem? I'm having an issue, like, emotionally connecting with my 10-year-old sister. Mmm, a sibling problem. A sibling problem, we, very relevant. We, we, we could maybe How help. old are you? I'm 23. You know, mm. we, that's that's interesting, because we never really had to deal with, we're not that far apart in age. What, what do you, no. What do you, what's the problem? Is it like you can't, is it the age that's a problem? Like, you don't know how to relate to, like, a 10-year-old? Oh my gosh, how the hell do you relate to a 10-year-old? Like, that's so hard. Well, you're not going to relate to your 10-year-old sister, sister, right? As, like, a person yet. But, like, I think that you just have to, at this point, you just have to put yourself in the mind of a 10-year-old. Like, what did you, throughout your life, because you're older, you're going to have to put yourself in the situation that you were at her age. Mm. So you were 10. What do you like to do when you're 10? Mm. What did you like to do when you were 10, Lyle? I, I like think it's when I was funny. 10. Oh my god! Well, uh, what did you like to do when you were ten? Yeah, what did you like to do when you were ten? Oh, I was well, too low. Oh, your mic's hold on. Let me. Like, well, you said play video games and like, so like she's ten years old. Okay, she really likes like Roblox. And when I was ten, like I loved MMOs. Like that's all I would do with myself. Like I would play Maple Story for hours. Mm. And like she that? does the same thing with Roblox, and like I. For some reason, I can't relate anymore. Like, I just can't relate to that. Have you tried playing Roblox with her? I've told her that I would make an account, but I've also said in the same, like, voice that I would just do it to troll her, and that's kind of mean. That is mean. She's only 10. She doesn't really understand what trolling means. <laughs> oh, no. She See, you, knows, you're, you're, you're I'm going to put you on blast. You're kind of part of the problem. You can't try to relate to her with something she likes and then be like, oh, by the way, I'm going to make this experience miserable well, I, for you. Know, well, on the other side, look, Mars, I think, oh you gosh. know, look, to balance out what my sister said. <laughs> Sorry, I'm I think, honest. I think uh, maybe you're, you're prepared. Look, there's undeniably there's trolls out there in the world. There's trolls in the Roblox world and maybe you're just sort of oh like God, buffing okay. her up. At least she's being trolled by someone she loves, you know, before she, she gets trolled by someone out in the yeah. wild. Like she's ruthless on the internet. Like I've like seen like the way she talks to her friends, and I'm just Ooh. like, mm. well, oh, so maybe she'd appreciate. What that. have you observed about the way that she talks to her friends? She likes to be edgy, or she tries to be edgy, which is pretty much just like homophobic <laughs> and racist. Oh. Um, don't do that like that's really that's not how it's supposed to be like you have to have manners on the internet but she's at that age where like they would like the schools would teach kids about internet etiquette and mm. i can't do it. wow really schools are teaching kids about internet etiquette now that doesn't surprise me though 
I mean, when I was, I mean, they did not teach us anything about that shit. That's what I had learned. I mean, like, I'm from 98, though. And so, like, I was in, she was in probably, like, third grade. I don't know what year I would have been in, like, third grade. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, when it comes to being edgy and seeing edginess as being homophobic and racist, um, you know what? This is actually a great opportunity for you to bond with your sister and maybe um, teach her some lessons about how to be more kind and respectful and um, loving in the world because the energy you put out into the world is the energy you get back and if she's putting out that energy she's not gonna get that back I'll tell you that now I find that interesting that she's a troll because like when I think like because I know like 14 year old boys are like you know edgy assholes but I, I, I never like thought of like a li little girls going on the computer and like s s fucking trolling um yeah. i can't say that because i was one of those little girls it runs in the family ah, yeah, now we do know. you think she learned it from you i think she's learned a lot from me but all the wrong things <laughs> damn <laughs> okay <laughs> so so your problem so you were <laughs> so you're the problem Maybe you could bond over being trolls. I'm the toxic one. Oh, well. Mm. I, I love um, how do you bond with your sister? You know what? You both, you take you take this as a learning moment for both of you. And maybe you go to, like, um, internet class together. Some sort of, like, there, there's got to be, like, a Trolls Anonymous thing that you guys could attend together to, like, learn how to be less edgy on the internet. <laughs> Okay, that sounds um, cool. Yeah, I think, I think, yeah, I agree with my brother on this one. Well, Mars, listen, good luck to your sister. Good uh, luck, good luck to, to you. you. And uh, I hope that you uh, eventually find Jesus Christ. No. <laughs> I hope that you Thank find you. happiness and love in whatever secular way you, fi you feel. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. <laughs> you have a good night, Mars. <laughs> Bye, Mars. <laughs> Call from. Hi, my name is. To accept press. Hello, my name is. Hello, my name is. Wow, really What's cut up? you off. Holy shit! I know. Uh, Holy. Hey. You weren't expecting to be to us to answer, were you? No, not at all. I'm actively watching the stream, so I'm hearing you twice. It's kind of crazy. You turn turn your stream off. Pay yeah, turn the this, stream off. It's gonna help to you. The conversation. Yeah. Put right, it on mute. Put it on mute. Yeah, it's muted. It's muted. Okay, cool, cool. Right. Um, what's your name? Um, we, we we didn't really get that part. Oh, really? I'm sorry. Uh, my name is Caleb. What's up, Caleb? Caleb, how you doing? Doing well. Um, happy to be a part of the stream. I have a problem. Happy to have you. What's your problem, Caleb? Oh, what's your problem? You're ready. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, so I like this girl quite a bit, and uh, I know that she likes me as well. But she's very adamant about labels, and I'm not about that. Mm. I just feel as though they're restricting. Um. Okay. Interesting. What so... label does she is she looking for? She she wants you to go. She wants a boy friend, friend. capital a B partner. Facebook official boyfriend. Yeah, exactly. Sure. And I'm just and like you're not into that. You don't like labels. We're together. So I'm. Yeah, that's that's my thing. I'm like we're together. So there's what's the issue? Um, let me, let me, let me tell you why this is an issue. It seems like this is something she really cares about. She wants you to be her boyfriend. And if you really liked her, like you say you do, then who gives the fuck about saying that you're her boyfriend? You yeah, know what and I that's, mean? That's, that's something that's I important to her. Like, that's what, so what I said was, I don't really care so if it's super important to you, we can do it. And if it's not super important to you, then we can just stay the way we are because I'm happy the way we are. But what are, what are you, what are you? Of, what, what did, what what did are, she say in response to that? Yeah, what did she say in response? Well, she kind of she got offended that I didn't care much either way. Mm. Yeah, I would, I'm offended for her as why well. Are you, why are you offended? Why, why, why are you offended about that? How romantic is it? That he's like, 
I don't really care if you're my girlfriend or not. That's not romantic. Okay, but what, what I I'm sense saying. is that. Well, okay. What was what was her what was her full response? Like, is she she's upset with you? That yeah. Like, why is she specifically upset? Uh, she's specifically upset because I won't put this label on us. Yeah, but I mean, I'm say, I, I'm sorry. That was. Uh, I mean, when you said to her that oh, you don't care either response? way, what was her response like specifically? Her, her response was just kind of like, "Well, if it's if it's hurting you so much to put a label on us, then we won't do it." And I. She kind of like was oh, being so she was about it at that point, and I was like, "Well, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying it's not super important to me." And then we kind of ended the conversation there to mm -hmm. avoid uh, further arguing. You know, I don't think there's anything. Look, there's nothing wrong with the fact that you don't want to have a label, and there's nothing wrong with the. F Tell me, if, okay. I don't think there's anything wrong with the fact that you want to have a label. I don't think there's anything wrong with the fact that she does. It sounds like just incompatibility. It sounds like you two are looking for different really? things. Yeah, I kind well, of agree with that. I think it's a little is, bit of a cop out to be like, is, I don't care about labels. Is, what what, what, what did you say? Yeah, what'd you say? Everything else is 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 great. It's just this this one issue. We're doing quite know, well. Like, Life is all about, I mean, not life is all about labels, but there's labels in life. I mean, what's going to happen if you guys, like, eventually decide that you want to get married? Like, what are you just not going to, you, you, well, if you are you wife? willing, well, my, how much are you willing to compromise here? How much are you willing to just go along with what, what she wants? It sounds like you are willing to compromise. Uh, uh, quite a bit, but we haven't been talking for that long, so I feel as though a label is not necessary quite yet we know that we're together we we know that we're not involved with other people we know that there's a commitment to one another and i feel like a label is just a label at that point you know i think also labels create security and make people feel this safe 100 true and so it's not necessarily because she's like i want to have a boyfriend like it's probably more that having those labels of boyfriend girlfriend partner whatever it is that you guys decide on like that's a that's a security that you guys are in this together fully wholeheartedly it's the last hurdle right and that security okay. might not be important to you but it's important to her but it's like uh, you know I, I, in my opinion and maybe I mean, you can't feel bad about the fact that you, you can't like force, I think you can't like force yourself to care about labels. But I think that the fact that you're compromising and just being like, sure, I'll go along with it. That to me feels like the best you can do, right? I mean, okay. you can't force yeah. yourself so, to I guess want I agree. to. All right, the next time I see her, I'll be like, hey, maybe this is a good idea. Cause it's probably kind of a dick move to do it like over the phone. Compromise. I agree. But I think that you should go into it with a little bit more enthusiasm. Even fake your enthusiasm yeah, as a compromise. Yeah, you don't need to actually be enthusiastic okay. about it. But you should be enthusiastic about it. Do you want to know why? Because you seem to really like her. And this is something that's going to make her happy. Yes. And because you know that's going to make her happy, that should make you genuinely I happy. I agree. I wouldn't call if I didn't. I, w I, w I wouldn't make my, my one issue, my one chance to speak to you guys about a girl that I don't really care about. I know, I know. No, I agree. I agree. Full, I agree fully with what you said. Like, I can tell. We can tell that you actually care about this person. So if you can't get excited about the idea of the label, you might you can get excited about making her making happy. her happy by okay. trying to be excited about it. And you know what? Maybe once yeah. you actually put the labels on it, yeah. you will actually like that you have Maybe. that. It's I'll possible. enjoy it more than, than not. Yeah. Sure. All Thanks. right, guys. Thank you so much. Of course. Thank Caleb, you so much for Caleb, you're so welcome. Caleb. You have a great rest of your night. You have a great rest of your night. Love, Keep I us updated. Let us know how it goes. Thank you, man. Doing what you're doing. Thank you, man. You have a good night. Have a good night. Let us know. You Keep too. us updated, Caleb. He was sweet. He was nice. I feel kind of bad. I did rag on him at the beginning, but I under I, I think that... I mean, maybe it's a female, I, it's a woman's perspective, different... I never... I don't think that people should ever feel guilty about, like, the way they feel about it because at a certain point like you can't control the way that you feel i agree but i just think that the labels thing is like a, a universally a cop out of a thing what what is a cop like what being was a cop like out? i don't like labels 
Like that's, that's some people don't up. like labels. But, like, but he but he likes her, so he's willing to compromise. Like, what does that mean? You don't like labels? Like it, 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 labels aren't permanent. It, but you just you just said the idea of the label is security, which implies some <laughs> yeah, degree right. of permanence. I did say that. It implies a, 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 some degree of impermanence. I mean, everything's no, impermanent. No, it's, it's not. It's not. I don't think security and permanence is the same. It's true. I think that they're different things. I think that there's just a general security you have when you're. Um, I don't know. <laughs> oh, I have a cute laugh. Thanks. I think my laugh is really ugly. But anyway, that's not the point. So um, the point is that i just like this is something i hear from men all the time though like this is if, if you're well, a girl like you'll, you'll understand guys I partially think a lot of guys say that they don't like labels because they actually don't like the person and they want to be like and they want to be able to play the field still play the field still right and that's so obviously not what we were getting from this guy saying. but yeah. i think that the concept of being like i don't like labels fine but like also, labels exist. Guys, we're not changing society. Boyfriends, girlfriends. No, but, but uh, look, there are girls that, like, I don't think it's a gender thing. Like, you, like if you're a guy that doesn't like labels, you can you can fucking find a girl out there that doesn't like labels. I mean, sure, of course. I'm it's not hard it's to, all women. It's all hard men, to find. All girls, gays, thems, you know? It's hard to girls, find gays, a partner gays. that you are fully, 100% in every single area of everything compatible with. But if you can get to 90%. And compromise on the other ten percent. I don't disagree. Call from Abby. 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 Who's Abby? Hello. Is he someone? Hey, someone said no. Lyle's annoying. There we oh, go. We're going to Hey, What's Abby. up, Abby? How you doing? Hi. So I'm here with my brother right now, and I have put Ooh. a waxing strip on my arm, and I need your. You have a what on your arm? A waxing off. strip. A waxing oh. strip. Okay. Okay. So I. Now that is on, I'm like scared to take it off. You're you're gonna take it off right now? On yeah, the call? But yeah, but I'm scared. Like that's the thing is I put it on and now I know it's gonna hurt. Your brother's gonna take your brother's taking it off for you. You have a lot of trust in your brother. Yeah. I know. But I just what's can't your take brother's name? <laughs> Tanner. Tanner. Um. Wait. Yeah. Okay. So it's on your arm. Yeah. Can we talk to Tanner real quick? Yeah. What? Put Tanner on. Yeah, Tanner. Hey. Hey, what's up, Tanner? Oh, Zach Arigetti. Hey. Got a follower hey. that I know. Sorry. Um, anyway. Uh, <laughs> Tanner, why are, yeah. why are you guys doing this? Well, she wanted me to do this. Well, I, yeah. <laughs> no, I would, you let, you would, would you let me wax your arm? No. I don't think I would want to. Ew, no. I think if you asked me to, I would say no. So, rip it off right now. All right, wait. Let's do it right now. We'll do a countdown. We'll do a countdown. All right, all right. Wait, wait, Tanner. We're doing a countdown okay. right now. Five. Three. Uh, I was going to do three. Oh, okay. Three, three two, two, one. Oh, that. Okay. That, that wasn't that All right, bad. it wasn't that bad. <laughs> <laughs> so how was it? Not What's not the bad. pain from one to ten? Like a, like a four, I'd say. Oh, that's not that's that not bad. bad. That so bad. why are you watching your arm? Are you just... Are you waxing the rest of your arm now? Because you really have to. No, I put, I don't even know why I did it. I just put it on, and then I was too scared to take it off. What do you mean you don't know why? What, did you just do it for fun? I, I guess so. I guess I wanted to know what it felt like, you know? You, so this you're is just waxing one part of your arm? Yes. But do you know what a masochist is? <laughs> I do. I'm a, that's not it. <laughs> No, you don't consider yourself a masochist? This well, is a masochist doesn't tendency. have to be a sexual thing. It can just be like you just like pain. Yeah, yeah, I know. But like, I'm not a masochist. Another, didn't even get on. Mm. Wait, hold on. Act... It sounds like Tanner had a different mm. opinion on that. Tanner, what do you think? I don't know. I don't think it got enough to actually give the pain. It's like red now. Yeah, Tanner says that he wants to inflict more pain upon you. Um, What kind of waxing strip is this? Let's uh, Did you just buy it at Target? Alan Hansen? Oh my gosh. Go put some lotion on. I'm scared for you. <laughs> Are they bad? <laughs> Is it, I have no idea. You, you called in on the right night for skincare shit. <laughs> 
Okay, um, good. I mean, I'm just, I don't know. I've never waxed my arm with Sally Hansen wax chips before, but I can't imagine that. Do you, uh, mm, eat, mm, eep. Eep is all I gotta say. But listen, I'm glad that it's over and you're done. Do you, you guys feel like this experience has bonded you two together in mm -hmm. any way? That's a good question. I think so. I think so. Uh, we're already pretty close, but we definitely are closer now. Ta what do you think, Tanner? Hold on. Tanner, what do you think? He, he what left. You think Tanner left. Tanner was over I you. guess the answer is no. Yes? Yes, we are. We're bonded now. <laughs> <laughs> You're bonded for life. That's wow. good. How would you, Tanner? How would you describe your relationship with your sister? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Drunk. What did you say? Drunk. Strong. <laughs> Strong. Strong. Okay. Yeah, All right. Strong. That's good. That's a good verb. That's cool. That's that's cool. not a verb. That's a but something. But who cares? Pain. You like inflicting pain upon her. Oh, so she's a masochist <laughs> and you're a sadist. So this is kind of a perfect relationship. In terms of being siblings. Yeah, I think so. Well, uh... Abby. Uh, do you guys have fun with that? <laughs> you have fun being um, a sadist, masochist, um, Don't sibling end up in dynamic. jail. I'll yeah. try not to. Or married. Or married. He's definitely Mainly not married. You guys have a great right. rest of the night. Thank you, Abby and Tanner. Yeah, you too. Thank oh, you. Wow. Bye. Call from Danielle. Danielle. Danielle, what's up, dude? What's up, Danielle? Oh my God, hello! I this is about the hundred and eightieth time I tried to call. <laughs> well, persistence pays off. Persistence How you doing? does pay off. Yeah, How you doing? Totally. Um, so I have a bit of a problem that's been on my Ooh, mind. Oh, tell us. Give, give, give me one sec. Can you guys hear Danielle? I'm watching the stream and I can't see anyone commenting. Oh, you're not on not like, uh, okay. I'm, all right, we're getting yes. All right, we're getting. I don't, I don't. If you're on like speaker or anything. All okay, I took it off speaker. Beautiful. Can you hear right, me? Ah, there we go. Well, yeah, much better, much better. How you doing, Danielle? Awesome. Well, Danielle, you've okay. got a problem. Tell us about it. <laughs> tell us the tell us the problem. Yeah. Uh, okay. So just like a little bit of a trigger warning. This might be a little heavy. Um, oh, okay, listen, 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 listen. I want Danielle. <laughs> Danielle, I gotta let you know. I gotta let you know. <laughs> okay, it's, so first, I... before before you even tell us what this is, have you whatever this is? Have you talked to about it with a real therapist? Yes, I went to therapy about it for a year. <laughs> okay, I, I mean, just, I, okay, I don't you talk know what? to tell people us and about we'll it. You know what we think? <laughs> okay, I just don't talk to people about it, and like, um. I, I this could really be cleansing for her. Out there. <laughs> yeah, She's getting out there. So... Come on. Sure. Run it. We're I'm... running it. You said face your fears, so we're facing all, them. You know what? All you. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'll, take, I'll take this one. So basically, I was dating this guy, and we were in, like, such a nice relationship, you know, all happy. And then one day he says, you know what? You're not doing all that much for me, and breaks up with me. And then Aww. a couple months go by, and he, like, we just lose all communication. And then I check on Facebook, and I find out that he actually passed away through his... I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, no, it's fine. <laughs> I'm over it. <laughs> Anyways, so, yeah, I found out that he passed away and stuff, and now it's just like, oh, my God, is it my fault? Like... And I know it probably isn't, but I just feel like crap about it. Before we say anything, what what has your therapist told you about this? So she told me that because of how much time that we spent like apart, it most definitely isn't. But the thing about it is I have the problem of overthinking so much that makes me think that it is my fault. Um, here's what I have to say on the situation. Don't give yourself that much power. Um, that makes sense. Because <laughs> in reality, you know, I, I don't know all of the circumstances, obviously. But, you know, you're never 
if somebody is in a is in pain is in a situation um there's a lot of reasons why they could be in that situation and there's probably not one there's probably two three four or five thousand and to say that someone died because of you you're giving yourself a lot of power that you don't deserve be on on any end um because you shouldn't feel guilty about something that you shouldn't be giving yourself power over something that probably definitely a hundred percent isn't your fault so if you yeah. cut yourself some slack on that i think that you'll ultimately in the long run yeah and like i agree right i agree there's, there's, there's not that i'm qualified to speak on anything ever yeah i'm not in my qualified on that by the way but uh <laughs> yeah yes there's there's just there's far too many infinite unknowable variables yeah for you to no, pick yeah. one and go uh, with it that was actually the best advice i've heard so far because i don't really talk to my friends about it i don't really talk to family about it uh because they usually just say oh so sorry for your loss and i'm like bro like that's not what i want to hear i just want to hear like it's okay or i want you to not in like a rude way say laugh about it you know like i just I, I want some kind of sympathy. <laughs> I I, yeah, I, I fully really agree that. with what Klaus said. There's 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 I mean, like there's I, there's just infinite unknowable reasons about why a person <laughs> you know would would do that, and you know you you can't just you can't just pick one and 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 run with it, you know. Yeah. yeah so exactly. don't give yourself all this power. Let let it if you if you let go you're going to feel a lot better. And obviously letting go is a lot easier said than done. But, you know, yeah, I I just think that there's an infinite amount of reasons that somebody might be in the situation they are. And Yeah, I've, I've been and, working on letting go for, like, about the past year. And I think good, I'm reaching a good. point where, like, it's starting to get easier to talk about it. And I'm really glad that I Clearly, talked to you guys about it. Clearly, because you called two random geckos. Yeah, exactly. Also, um, I wanted to say Colorado is in fact a country. I can speak on yes! that from experience. <laughs> oh yes, nothing is and, anything. Yeah, and Denver is a goat city. Thank you guys so much for complimenting my hometown. Oh, of course, oh, of course. Oh, you're so welcome. We're big Denver fans over here. What? I've never been to Denver. Yeah. You've never been to Denver? Denver's a cool place. <laughs> You've never been to Denver. I yeah, to, you yeah, guys should come down here. I went to Denver, to Denver a couple years ago. I drove oh. there by myself. Oh, you're right. Okay. It was fun. <sighs> well, I went to one of those uh, fucking... You can't, like... You can't... When you're in Denver, you can't, like, buy weed and get high in a store, but you can buy weed and bring it to a place that doesn't sell weed, but you can get high in there. <laughs> I was oh, yeah, I went totally. to, I stayed at this place called Hostel Kush. Oh my god, that's so funny. It was so I, it was the uh, it's like if some it's like if your fucking stoner friend turned his basement into a hotel. Shout out to Hostel Kush. All right, sorry. What did you say your name was? <laughs> Danielle. 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 Thank Danielle, you so much for, for calling, calling us. In. I appreciate and, it. And you know oh, what? No, I thank really you hope for that answering. you feel. I hope that you feel better soon. I am. Um, thank you so much. Um... Yeah, I just needed to, like, tell someone. <laughs> of course. Of you, course. I you, get it. You, I'm with you on that. You have a great rest of the night, then. Have a good night. Thank you. You too. Bye-bye. Call from... Kristen. 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 Hey, Kristen. Hello. How are you, Hello? Kristen? Um, I'm good. I didn't expect oh my God, hey. you Chloe, to you didn't pick have to up. Make fun of her. <laughs> I didn't make fun of her. Yes, you did. You I, she said hello. And no, I said, it hello was back. it was divine. It was divine. I was I was You're matching her energy. Divine. She said it was divine. Oh, she's just saying that. Divine. Nice. No, it you, was Kristen? divine reference, like the app. I'm I'm pretty good. I mean, the, I've had a kind of rough last two weeks, but like my last few days have been pretty good. So, what was good about the last two days? Um, well, <laughs> I got out of quarantine, like, within the last two days. Heck yeah. Um, so, now I'm immune, but it just, I, I can't wait, or I have to wait to get the vaccine, which is like... Oh, do you have corona? It's, well, I, I did, yeah. 
and like mm. we have to wait 90 days now because like the antibodies or something oh wait interesting so you had the rona so that's why your last two weeks sucked yeah and like i'm in college and like i had to stay in my room and i cannot like Aww. do school work outside of my room so mm. that's a tough is that that's a that's a problem yeah going to being in college is is uh i i cannot imagine yeah. being in college right now yeah that oh super it's sucks. god kidding. well so i um last year i was a freshman i'm 19 mm. so that you don't have to worry about like age but um um, but i was a freshman last year and half of my second semester was like taken away like i had to go home that's Um, but you're back now and and but but the thing is i'm gonna be a junior like a whole year was taken away yeah that's and like the thing yeah and the thing that's like really like kind of shitty is that i haven't even started taking the classes specifically for my major yet what's your major uh commercial photography you can major in commercial you can major in commercial photography yeah (laughs) yes you can like specific i know that you can like go to art school and like major in like photography so commercial photography like you're gonna be the person that puts the the glue on the big mac when you take a picture of it um, well, 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 you're not going to be the person, but I'm saying that you're going to be like the person that like is in charge. Like of I set up, big I set up the whole like scene. I'm in charge of like editing the photos, all that stuff. Mm. Interesting. That's a, that's a very specific major. I don't that know if you can really get that specific. specific. Yeah. Well, I, so I did like, I've helped. People that I know like photograph weddings. I photograph my cousin's wedding. I I actually like really enjoy. Um, Do you make like, TikToks? Are you on photography TikTok? I no, I, I'm not on photography TikTok. But I you gotta get on photography. You gotta get TikTok. Off TikTok. Let me tell you guys, TikTok is where it's listen, at. Where it's at. It's the whole listen, reason TikTok, I can do this I'm stream. On, where it's at. All I, you guys, everyone here is from TikTok. I am on which TikTok? Okay, that is like my you're on which TikTok right now. Yeah, I'm which on TikTok? Which TikTok? Who do you follow on which TikTok? Um, I'm also, I'm really really like, I'm also into, big dude. on which TikTok. <laughs> I don't really like follow like specific people. I just kind of like scroll throughout the day. I I was a lot. I was on TikTok a lot when I was in quarantine, and like that made me struggle with doing my schoolwork too. Well, let me tell you, there's nothing. Be on TikTok more. That's my advice to every single person that calls. Yes. And every how single much? How much? How are you? You're not. How are you? How are you in debt? Um. Who? No, I'm. I'm pretty no, smart who? about my money. Very good. And I, I've Why? gotten very lucky with well, like. Because I well, talk a lot so on I, here about like, you know, and I went to school for film, and I was lucky enough not to graduate with debt, but like, you know. I, I hate because like I have a bunch a lot of friends who like went to film school with me, and like they mm-hmm. actively can't pursue their creative endeavors, or like move to LA or move to York because they have that fucking student loan mm. payment of like yeah. shit that they could have well, learned on like YouTube. So yeah, or TikTok. no, or I, TikTok. I my parents are like all about investing and everything, and I completely understand it, and I want to get to that point too. But like right now, mm. I just want to fucking focus on graduating. That's like, that's just where it's at right now, man. Well, you'll get there, dude. What did you say your name Kristen. was? Yeah, Kristen. Kristen. Well, thank you so much for calling, Kristen. Where, what's your fucking yeah. shout out your TikTok? Where, where everyone go follow Kristen? Yeah, uh, go follow Kristen. Nah, nah. nah. <laughs> I only have. I Everybody only follow have, like, Kristen. A of my cat. It's all right. All right. When everybody, not, like, everybody follow Kristen when she becomes a famous when commercial photographer. When you become photographer. a famous commercial <laughs> photographer, we'll be there. And stay oh, on I'm TikTok. Trying. Stay on which TikTok? Which talk? Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. I want to get a tarot deck. Oh, I have one. You have a tarot deck? Yeah. Oh. All right, we're gonna talk about that. Nice. Okay. All right. All right well, thank well, you so much, night, Kristen. Guys. You have a good night. Thanks for Bye. having me. You too. Bye. Bye. 
Paul from Anne. 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 <gasps> Lyle and Chloe. Hi. Hi. How are you, Anne? And you know good. what? You are my last call, so for tonight. So you've you've got to make it good. Wow, I'm I'm so honored. No pre no pressure. No Anne. pressure or anything. Oh, yeah, I know. Now I'm feeling the pressure. What's your problem, <laughs> Anne? Bless you. <laughs> Thank you. Well, how about this? I don't know what to do with my life. <laughs> mm. uh, like, career-wise. Mm. So what are you doing now? I'm unemployed. <laughs> what were you Ooh. doing before you were unemployed? Woo -woo! Um, I was a graduate student. And I got my doctorate in? in ecology, evolution, and conservation biology. Mm. Wow, you! So, do you want to do that? It's like a real thing. That is a real thing. Um. Well, I, I, hmm, I don't know how how qualified I am. You have a, you have a doctor. That is how You're qualified pretty you are. Pretty qualified, if you ask me. <laughs> well, so I don't want to go into academia. So, like, I don't want to be a professor. And so then that, okay. like, limits the other amount of jobs that I want to do. And the other jobs that I want to do, it almost seems like I'm overqualified. What, what, what are the jobs that you want to do that you feel overqualified for? Um, uh, like, I, I just, like, want a nine to five job. <laughs> Like a what? Like um, a park ranger or some something like that? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Or like a lab tech or something like that. Well, why do you feel you're overqualified? But if those are the jobs that you want, why do you feel you're over? Are you getting rejected from them because people think that you're overqualified for them? Yeah, and I think a lot of times, like if you have your, if you have a higher education degree, then they're thinking that it's like that you're going to leave right away mm. and like you like I'm never getting the opportunity to I guess say that hey I would actually really love being in this position and it's not just like a stepping stone okay well that's good I I was under, when you said I'm overqualified I was under the impression that you like felt like you were being like judged for having jobs that you were overqualified or like you felt like self-conscious about it um you know what? I really think it's well, this so, might be bad advice, but take it off your resume. <laughs> that's you know that's not bad advice. I mean, look, take it off. Fucking, for your for the park ranger. That's not that's not a, that's not a terrible idea. Anyway, I'm sorry. I cut you off. You were gonna say something. Um, I've already forgotten. I have like horrible ADD. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think about the idea of taking your doctorate off your resume? <laughs> yeah. That... Well, well, then that's like seven years of experience that i like can't account for oh that's a good point tell them tell them that you were living in the woods studying ecology firsthand <laughs> yeah conservation that's... you were farming yeah. your own stuff and whatever yeah. fishing um honestly just be like just just keep applying for these jobs that you you want and and keep going <laughs> you at sound it. like our mom just keep applying <laughs> Not our mom, but you sound like a mom. Uh, is that bad advice? Just keep applying. I don't no, know. No, I'm not saying. I never said it's bad advice. It's just. Um. But oh, if oh, you... I do know what I was gonna say. Sorry to cut oh, you. Oh, what off. were you gonna say? No, my God, please. Cut um, me off all you want. Well, so Lyle said like that. He thought I thought I was being judged for being overqualified. Yes. But it's actually kind of like the reverse. Is that. I think people see me as a really qualified person and I'm almost like not confident enough to apply to these things because of getting a PhD like in a very specific field. But it uh, that okay so is it that you don't want these jobs or that you're not or is it that you're not confident that you couldn't handle these jobs? Cuz cuz initially you said that you just didn't you just didn't want these jobs that you yeah, felt like you were so you, per, that you were suited the suitedly qualified for. Yeah, well like a lot of the normal track positions I feel like that I am really qualified for, they're like few and far between and I don't really want to go into that realm. Anyways, 
because of the stress and like it's not a very good work life balance. Totally understandable. Yeah. Yeah, I mean don't succumb to the like, you know, sunk cost fallacy or anything. Agreed. Don't, right. The idea oh the God, idea agreed. of like you know, uh, okay. I'm gonna you know, I don't wanna have wasted the past seven years of my life, so let me go ahead and waste forty more. more. Yeah. Yeah, no. But then, I mean, so then I'm like stuck of f trying to figure out what I actually do want to do as well. Right, I know I brought up living <laughs> in the woods as a joke, but you could, like, could you ever thought, no, not like living in the woods, but like go to, yeah, oh yeah, off the grid kind of shit, you know, like. But she wants stability. She, she wants a nine to five. That's fair. The uh, Living off the grid is not stable. Um, here's yeah, I my do advice. Want stability. Um, apply for things that are maybe a little bit more um, when you look at the circle and you're applying for things in the circle apply for things like kind of on the outside of the circle things that you may look at initially and be like mm, I don't know but you know life is, life takes a lot of twists and turns and um, I actually recently saw on TikTok of all places <laughs> um, but <laughs> good advice is that Love people it. who actually take a, a different a zigzaggy path are actually more fulfilled than people who just like take one path yeah, so you might get a job um that you're like maybe a little bit like less than thrilled about or whatever and then you'll just continue to kind of zig and zag to get to ultimately where you want to be you know like my first job out of college was you know it was not what i wanted but it was a great experience and i I learned a lot and then I'm zigging and zagging to get to where I want to be. So I think that sometimes you have to like be in a situation that maybe you're not a hundred percent happy with to build, to get to the point where you are peak happy. I agree with that. Right. Right. I will take that to heart and I will keep on applying and try and look for some of those, um, outer positions. I mean, yeah, I, I don't know. I hope I answered your question. I, part of me thinks that I didn't, I didn't really, but that's, it's, to welcome, what am I going to Welcome do? to being a therapy gecko. <laughs> I hope that I answered <laughs> a portion of, I hope I helped you a, at least 2%. That's all that, that's all, if I got, if I helped you 2%, then that makes me happy. Yeah, no, I think that um, you did a really great job of um, recognizing or like, reaffirming to me that it doesn't have to be so serious and that I'm putting a lot of weight on finding like the perfect career on this first yes. like, kind of attempt and and I think yeah a zigzag pa pattern is fine yeah I have a lot of friends who just graduated grad school and they're kind of in the same boat as you and that was the advice that I gave them so that and how are they doing now well, I gave them that advice yesterday. What is your, what, so, what is your positive <laughs> testimonial? I gave them right? that advice yesterday, so it hasn't panned out yet. But okay. I'll let you know if it does. But yeah, just you're not going to get your dream. Everybody, everybody in the chat and everybody who's watching now and you, Anne, you're not going to get your dream job on the first try. You're just not. And you know what? It's better for you that you don't. So you you apply for your bit. dream job, see how it goes, but apply for shit that you're like, I don't know if I would like this, and zigzag to get to where you want to be, because it's going to be more enjoyable that way. Beautiful. Yes. It is well, beautiful. Anne. Anne. Thank Anne, you so you doing, much. Anne? Good. You're welcome, Good. Anne. Can I... Thank you so much for, for calling in, Anne. Yeah, and thank you for taking me as your last call, Chloe. And oh, on a one so final welcome. note... I wanted to tell Lyle that I love your choices for the raids after your show is done. Huh? So, <laughs> oh, okay. We'll I have really to, I'll have the to last find a good one after done. this. We got. I feel like we got yes, a bunch of people will. in here. We can blow someone's shit up. Yeah, blow someone's shit up. Yeah, right. All right. Have a good night. Right, Thank Anne. you. You too. You too. Good you night, have a Anne. good night. Yep, bye. Last night, Chloe, Chloe, and I we hung out with our dad. Yeah. And our dad was telling us. Um, what was the thing he said? I don't know what you're talking about. He, the, uh, that's great advice. I'll keep that in mind. He <laughs> yes. was telling us like he was telling us like <laughs> phrases he uses to like blow, blow someone off. off when they tell him something. Yeah. Like when, like if like if someone he said if someone's giving me advice that I don't like, or that I not say, that I don't like, but that I'm like I'm probably not gonna use. I'm probably gonna use. Just say, say that's, that's great, great advice. advice. Um, I'll 
That's that's great advice. I'll think about that or something like that. Yeah. Mine is I'll put that on the list, which is not true. I actually do. I say all the time I'll put that on the list, and I mean it. But I think hers is uh, I'll take I'll take that to heart. <laughs> You're probably right. That's well. I and hope that's she does one. take it to heart in reality. It is a good thing to say though. If if you know you want to blow someone off, I'll tell. Right, someone tells you something you don't. Want. You know, I you can she can blow me off. That's fine. I'm not saying she was. No, I know. She might be perfectly genuine. But I just wanted to add that to the list of of things that you say to things blow that off. could be a good person. To, good to good be good to say. You know to what mine is? Off. What's yours? Yeah, I guess. That's good. I say yeah, I guess. I'll put that on the list. <laughs> Call from. Ricky. Ricky? Oh, shit. Hello? Ricky? Hello? Hey, Ricky. Hey, Gek, how you doing? I'm all right. I'm chilling. What are you up to? I just finished watching uh, Godzilla vs. Kong. How was it? It was very good. I loved it. I'm a little biased on this, but I hope that Godzilla wins. Oh, come on now. I was rooting for Kong the whole time. Well, like I said, I'm biased. Yeah, I guess you must be related, right? My what, I'm sorry? Oh, shit, that was a different question. What's your, the, Those two fucking... I cheated. Those two questions are very similar. Anyway, what's your paradise, Ricky? <laughs> My paradise would probably be... Just living well off. Mm. What define well off to you? Like, is is well off? Is that a dollar amount? Is that a depth of your personal relationships? What does it mean for you to be well off? Well, for me, it's not it's not just myself. I think also I like to take care of the people around me. Mm. Who? Strangers, friends. Yeah, actually, all my friends. If I, if I could take care of all of them, it'd be nice. Mm. Family, relatives, everybody. It's not really a dollar amount, but more just, just uh, living within our means, you know? Mm. You want to make sure that all of your friends and family are, are, are have enough to live. Right. Do you ever... What? It, all right, but, like, let's say that you made a ton of money, right? Let's say you, like, won the lottery. Wouldn't, would you ever be, like, afraid that being a provider to your friends changes the relationship a little bit like what if they start you know wanting wanting more from you what if they start viewing you more as a provider than a friend and that changes the relationship yeah i think i'd be worried about that um i never thought of it that way but i'd kind of hope that my friends would stay true and not become that i guess Tell me about your best friend. What are they like? Oh, well, they're they're a little bit of everything, to be honest. I have a lot of uh, loud, arrogant friends and a lot of uh, shy ones and some that are getting it together and some of them that are you know, struggling. See, if you have friends that are arrogant, maybe they won't even want your money, right? They'll be, they'll be like, what, what do you think I am, uh, Ricky, a charity case? You know? Yeah, that, that's true. Maybe the shy ones will be too bashful. They'll, you know, I won't take your. So, money. so what does that mean that I that I'd be in a good, good situation? I guess uh, I wouldn't have to worry about that so much. I think the fact that you know, when asked what your paradise is, you instinctively um, think of something selfless, something where you can help other people. I think that means that you're pure at heart. And um, if there is a divine entity um, that uh, makes judgments of us when we die, uh, they will judge you um, uh, favorably and send you um, to heaven. And I like that for you, Ricky. I think you deserve it. Oh, thank you, Gek. Of course. You have a great rest of the night. Thank you. You too. From Reina. Raina? Raina? That's me. Hello, Raina. Mr. How Gick, how are you doing? This is Raina. What's up, dude? Uh, so, 
I want to ask you the questions right hit now. Me. Hit me, dude. How did it start? Where did the gecko thing come from? I I didn't have time to read up on the lore of the geck man, but I really wanted to hear from you, from the horse's mouth, from the geck's mouth. How did it start? You know, uh, I, I well, I'm curious. When you say you didn't read up on the lore, where would you even go to? Uh, uh, first of all, if assuming such lore even exists, where would one go to read up on this? Well, I mean, I assume there's a geck wikia. Um, there, if if not, just the Wikipedia page. Ooh, I don't think I'm. Fa I don't think. Don't you have to be like a real person or something to uh, be on Wikipedia? Uh, no, no. I mean. <laughs> Alex Jones is a Wikipedia. Um, and he's a lizard. You could do. Uh, I think that there's if there's like a lizardpedia or like a wikia. The bar for entry, like the the actual Wikipedia, it's pretty it's pretty tough to get in. But like the wikia, you know that just wiki with an a at the end, wikia. You can make a you can make a wikia page about anyone. Oh yeah, yeah. But I think I think you need to have like a Gekipedia. I'm really liking this Gekipedia well, like option. Okay, anyone out there that wants to make a Gekipedia, please. That would excite me. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. Like, all right, I, I don't think I could give you a general origin story because I don't know if I have one. But if you have a specific question, I, c I could try my best. Um, you know, I think I think it's best we leave that to... I think we leave that to imagination. Sort of how the Joker has, you know, more than one origin story. You know, maybe you fell into a vat of green acid. Um, I, you know, it could be anything. So, do you feel like... Um, so, okay, so kind of go, playing into that, do you feel as though your experience of this would be positively, negatively, or possibly not even at all altered by your Ooh. knowledge of an origin story? You know, that's a good question. Um, and I think I think in the end, it doesn't really matter for me. I just like to know things. You know, I do this thing. I do this thing where I look people up on the Internet. You know, if I if I know who they are, if I know their name, what they do, what they like, you know, where do they where do they post on the Internet? I feel like I know them a little better. So you, you know looked what I mean? me up is what you're saying. Oh no, definitely not. See that I don't I don't wait, look do people up that I wait, 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 what do you mean definitely not? You just said that's not a definitely. You just said that you like to look people up. And this is actually I, part of what correct of me to assume that you tried to look me up. Oh no, no. And this is actually part of what I've been trying to do better at uh lately. I I've been putting it off. I haven't been I haven't been looking people up. I have been compiling that into into uh, zip files and putting them on CDs and writing the names of like albums on them and hiding them under my bed. I wait I'm minute, not doing that are anymore. These, hold on, these people are these like like people like you know who you just like see on the internet or like artists or like musicians or whatever, or are they like people you know in real life? Um, so it's not really people on the internet, like people who I don't know and don't know me. That's not as good. It's got to be people I know, uh, either on the internet, like, and who also know me. So maybe online friends or people so who are just like really interesting. That you make zip files of information of them and put it onto a CD. And, and on the CD, I write the name of an album, like The Cure, uh, uh, Disintegration. I'll put oh, it in a CD is... case. This is to, for like, to, like as a disguise. Yeah, yeah. Because who's gonna open up a CD case, see the Cure, disintegration, and uh, like be like, oh fuck, I love that, I love that album, and put it in, right? Y yeah. So uh, wh so why are you compile? All right, so like you make. All right, so these are not pe these are like internet friends, like people you would meet in like a Discord channel or like while playing video yeah. games or something. And or you... people in real life. Are they are they strangers or they're friends? Uh, they've got to be people that like I interact with, and it's not in a weird way. Why do you compile? I mean, well, hold on, because all right, looking up someone, looking up someone's fucking Facebook or Instagram is like you know what everyone fucking does that, mm -hmm. but. Mm -hmm. Compiling it onto as onto a, into a folder and put burning it onto a CD, 
is another level. And so here's the thing. Is it really any different from what major, you know, tech companies do to us on a daily basis? Is it really any different if your friend... I think it is a little bit different because it's a little, it's more targeted. And I'll, right. Well, are you, well, let me ask you this. Are you doing this for financial, what is your motive behind this? I don't know. It's just this compulsion. I need to know things about people and I don't even want to do anything with it. Like, I just need, I have the need to just really know somebody. And I don't want to get like really weird with them either. It's not like a sexual thing. And it's not this thing where it's like, oh, you're mine now. It's just like, I want to know them, you know? <laughs> but, <coughs> but, um, yeah, Mr. Busket says I'm a background checker. Yeah, it's Who's like I Mr. background Busket? check people. Uh, I don't know, some guy with a crown in chat. But yeah, chat, it's like a background no check. The, you, the only, the only, I, I want to start you. Uh, guys, I came up with something. Fuck, I just came up with something incredible. I just came up. What did you say your name was? Uh, Raina. Raina. I just Raina. came up with. The, I just came up with a line that I'm going to use Hit for me. the next ten years of me doing. Let's do it. Raina, there is Raina. The only chat you should be paying attention to is the chat between you and me. Oh, absolutely. What chat? What, I'm using I that. You know what chat? I love it. I love it. Right, I'm a trailblazer. Anyway, anyway. anyway. let's get back anyway. to the situation at hand. Okay, but still, the, the okay, but all the motives you've described. Okay, sure. Everyone, go, uh, people. Yes, people go and they stalk each other's LinkedIn's, and mm -hmm. their whatever, and you know, but. I, what I don't understand is why you're burning it to a CD. What like what does that do for you? That's more archival <sighs> than that is more of yeah. an archiving of information than a seeking of information. What do you what do you what are you doing with those seeds? Like why do you? What's behind? You them? know, um, if I were to if I were to put any sort of meaning to it, if I were to say something to explain it. <sighs> Here's my armchair. Here's my armchair explanation. Please. I just need to. I need to keep people. Uh, I'm afraid of losing them, you know. And uh, if it ever comes to a point, you know, in that relationship, whether it's a friendship or whether it's somebody that you know I'm romantically involved with, it's if I keep them on that CD, then I'll never lose them. You know, mm. and it's a lot better than than chopping them up, cooking them into a steak and, you know, being with them forever in that kind of way. You know, I, uh, what I was going to ask much you is, have you ever uh, talked to a, a real therapist about this? And uh, now I'll see, I, I think that you should before, you know, you uh, you get there. Oh, no, never, never. Um, it's it's, you know, it's too much work. You know, it's way too much work to kill somebody. Why would you want to do that? Um, you know, the whole it being too much work, while on the list of reasons why you shouldn't kill someone, is not, I would not consider a pr prominently featured one. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Like, there's not a list out there of reasons to kill somebody, and there shouldn't be. I mean, why would you? Have you spoken to a real therapist about this? Oh yeah. Uh, oh, about this? Uh, no. You, Hell you no. should. Bro, what are they gonna do? You, you what? You, the therapist? You know what the therapist is gonna say? They're gonna be like, "So did you do that to me?" And they're not gonna say that out of like, out of like, you know, trying to suss me out. They're gonna say that because, like, as a person, they're kind of like creeped out by it. You know? I asked you if you did that to me. I don't. I didn't see, and that's why I said I'm trying to do better at it. I don't do that shit. I've been doing better at okay, it. Okay, but the therap I you should talk to a therapist about it so they can tell you why you know they can help you out with it. Oh, I just told you why. Legitimate thing. I I just I just told you why, but yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Anyways, um, I my, like the, my paradise. I like, I'm, I, I like that you're weaning off it. I'm. You yeah. know what? I'm. Let me tell you something, Raina. I'm happy that you didn't do that to me. Not for my sake. I don't really care if you burn a CD with my fucking uh, uh, Tumblr account on it and shit. I, for your own sake, I'm happy that you didn't do that to me. Me too. I'm happy to hear that you're, pro you're progressing. 
I feel like our conversation has gone much better than than it could have if if I did do that, you know? Like if I knew that for example you love the color mauve, right? It would be it would be uh really awkward. I really hope you See, don't love the color mauve. Thing. That's uh another thing, you know, is um there's no mistake anymore, god damn it. There's yeah. no mistake. Everyone knows exactly. everything about each other. I mean, dates aren't fun anymore. Everyone's always you, yeah. you, know, you meet someone on whatever, and then you look up their fucking shit, and you're like, you know. I agree. To and figuring people out by talking to them. And maybe that's, that's why what you I were thought. doing. Maybe that's why you wanted to know the origin story yeah. from my mouth. Yeah. I, I well, want to I wanna learn how to connect with people, you know? That's well, my man, paradise. I think, I think that that is a good progression for you. I'm glad to hear that you're making active steps towards... Uh, no longer burning CDs of people. Yeah, yeah. And because who knows? One day it could anyone. be burning people, right? Like that. That. I'm well, just I fucking hope... with you. I'm fucking with you, Gag. I'm not gonna burn anybody. I hope you don't. Well, in the meantime, I'll be looking so long at these pictures of you. You have a good rest of the night, Randa. Thank you for sharing. Hey, you too. See you later, Gek. All from... Steven, how you doing? S Steven? Hey, how you doing? What's up, Steven? How you doing? I'm alright, man. I'm alright. You know, just sitting back here in Iowa and... Chilling out like everybody else. Um, isolated. <laughs> Nothing to do. I mean, I do stuff around the house, but I mean, what I listen you to your show. <laughs> what do you do around the house? Well, around the house, I just like, I clean up kind of like a woman's thing, but I like to clean my house up, up too, and I I play the Nintendo Switch, I, you know, do you things think like it's, that. Do you think it's womanly to clean? Well, no, actually, you know what? I take that back now. Um, I think... Like, we should all keep our house clean, actually. So, no, I, I take think, that back. I, yeah. I think cleanliness is gender neutral. Yeah. Activity. Yeah, if you um, don't clean, then it's it's like next to godliness. So, I mean, you know. <laughs> you know also a secular activity, one might say. Yeah, yeah. Not to, you know, just shit on everything you say, but. No, you're not, you're not. First I time I'm a caller, by the way. Uh, First time. Beautiful. Uh, how long you been watching the the stream for? I've been on Twitch for quite some time now. I um uh well I've been watching maybe about a few months now I think, and uh, it's 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 really relaxing uh, watching your streams and and listening to you converse with like all different people types of people and personalities and stuff. You know. Let me ask you a question, Stephen. What type of person do you think you are? Do you um, to box yourself into a personality. I think um, I'm a person that's uh, to. I'm very much to myself. Um, and even be, even before COVID, I was to myself. I, I'm just the type of person that um, I don't really like talk to people. So like. Um, I guess talking to you is, uh, I guess, a little different for me because I typically I, I'm to myself. Like I don't really converse with anyone really. I mean, I have a wife. What do you, what like do you I'm do for married. Me? Well, I I don't have a job, so I really don't do anything for a living. I mean, I get on TikTok and make videos and things like that. And no, I'm not going to promote. I don't need to. But, like, I do, like, I love, like, okay, I am addicted to, like, social media. And uh, I'm addicted to, I don't know if this is appropriate to say on stream, but I also am addicted to prescription narcotics and stuff. Um, legal prescription narcotics from okay. doctors and stuff. You go to. You've been going to a real uh, person about that, right? Yeah. 
No, I don't get anything like illegally. See, that's the thing. I got it legally. No, I mean like if you saw it like oh addiction help. Oh yeah, like I've I've been through the cycle uh, cycles of getting help and being put on treatment medicine, and with my personality with addiction and you know uh, addiction to uh, drinking as well. But with my person, I just have a very addictive personality, and I've been on treatment medicine, and I've also abused the treatment medicine as well too. So, I mean, addiction is uh, is is is. Uh, it's 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 a demon. It's hard. I think any addiction uh, to try to get a grasp on, um, it, it's hard to grasp it, and it's hard to not slip. You know what I'm saying? It's hard. It really is. There's a lot of addictions out there, and it's just hard to hang on. Are you are you regularly seeing a a, a counselor or a therapist or a, a group or something? See, my thing, my theory, like, with um, counselors and stuff, and I have seen them before, but I feel like, you know, if they're not on your level, like, if they're not on your level and they don't know, like, if they're not on your level and they haven't been there, done that, like you, then... But isn't, then, isn't that, not to interrupt you, but isn't that, is that the... Yeah. Because, isn't that, like, sort of the point of, like, the sponsor, right? Like, they've been there... Yeah. Well, yeah, exactly. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, I'm uh, like, I think it'll be perfect if they if they know exactly, like where I've been. Like, if they've been there themselves, that would help me a lot. You know what I'm saying? Like, but not just someone that's just gonna sit there and like, you know, talk and take notes, and they haven't experienced, you know, what I'm going through um, themselves. How are they gonna know? You I mean, know, have you, have you have you tried like seeking out? Yeah, have like you they're a sponsor of some kind. Well, not sponsors. No, I do talk to a, I do converse to <laughs> with a lot of. I talk to a lot of people. Like I'm a people person. I like to talk to <laughs> you just people. Told me that you talk to a lot of people. <laughs> well, online. Like I have a social life online. Like I'm addicted to the internet. So I have more of a social life online. I don't talk to people in real life. I don't, but like on the internet, I I'm I'm pretty sociable, but I'm to myself in person. Like I I don't know. Is that weird? <laughs> like uh, I don't know. Things weird. Uh, some things are weird, but um, no, yeah. I don't think so. I mean, I mean, I don't know. I here's the thing. I'm not a real therapist. Uh, yeah. I'm not a real person. No, I know that. No, I know that. But you're cool to talk to, though. Like, it's relaxing and fun to listen to. Hmm. So, Have you... Yeah. I mean, these questions of, like, you know, is it weird to not talk to people, to only have friends on the internet? Like... Yeah, well, know, I, I don't think know. It's, I think yeah. it, these are worthy questions of talking out with, uh, uh, you know... It's a good sure. question, right? I mean, it, I mean... That that would be me though. Like I have more of a social life on the internet. Like to me, that's like, you know, kind of like my real life. Like the people I talk to online, I consider like you know real people. <laughs> so because in real life, I wouldn't be talking to real people. Like I, it's so weird. Like I get. It. I mean, you know, <sighs> I get I it's weird. I don't really have a developed. I, I it's something I feel like we've talked about before on here. I don't have a super developed uh -huh. opinion on it uh yeah. as to like i mean it depends on what perspective you're coming at it with mm. because the world is changing uh the oh, it is, world isn't it? is the world <laughs> you know yeah. Uh, yeah yeah i mean it fucking covid accelerated that times a thousand but well uh, yeah I mean, look, if, you were yeah. To, if you were to ask a uh psychologist or mm. someone who is an expert on human mental health stuff what their opinion is on uh, mm -hmm. uh mm -hmm. you know having only internet friends i would be curious what they would say and i totally agree with what you said too because of covid like i feel like everything is gravitating anyway towards the internet and i feel like the internet's becoming like more real it's becoming like earth but it's internet 
because of COVID, we, That's I mean, so we're, it is, you know, and if you think about it like that and you keep thinking about it, it's actually really happening. Like, it's true. Like, it's becoming a, a planet almost. Like, <laughs> yeah, you, you know? know, that's what I was thinking about with like NFT. Do you know what NFTs are? I, I, I've i heard what they, I don't really know what they are. I heard, like, I've heard it from a couple people, like personalities on the internet and stuff. I heard that. I don't understand, like, exactly what it is. What is it? I only kind of understand what it is, but like, yeah, I think it, right, um, like, I'm talking out of my my tits here, but uh, <laughs> the I think it'll like allow you to like people are gonna start buying and selling like digital real estate. Oh. Like some some uh-huh. I think some some woman bought a house like a digital house for like half a million dollars or something like that. What the and hell? She said some shit like, uh, you know, we're gonna be living in digital. <laughs> So I don't know. This stuff's all above my. That's my weird, head. and and you know when you said that, I automatically thought of that movie, Smart House. Do you remember that movie? The, the, the Disney Channel original movie, Smart House. It is. It is, and it's like, do you remember? Like they were all like computer. Like the house was a computer. The mom was like a computer personality. Like I feel like we're entering in that era. We're entering in that world, bro, because of COVID, though. Like, well, it's we're entering. Like, I have no idea what the future will bring. Um, well, I hope to see you in the in whatever grand. I hope you the sign digital up for world or something. Yeah, therapy gecko MMORPG. Um, <laughs> but yeah, man, it was a pleasure talking to you. And and uh, yeah, you, you know, too. I know I'm just a guy on the computer, but. You know, that's I, a, I, yeah, but you, you know, it's all good. You know, are able to find an, uh, s- some sort of legitimate professional help with with you know whatever you've got going on. Oh yeah, I mean, we all got addictions out there, and I think for people that do, including myself, I think we should keep reaching for that help and and just never give up. You know, there's there's just gotta keep talking to people. You know, <laughs> just yeah, man. just keep reaching. <laughs> Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Steve. You have a good uh, no, St- Stephen, not Steve. Yeah, Stephen, Steve. Yeah. Stephen. Yeah. Well, thank you, Stephen. You, <laughs> you too. Thank you so much. Call from Ethan. Ethan. Hey. Oh shit! I actually got through. What's up? Oh shit! I think I said I was streaming on Reddit. I meant to say streaming on Twitch. Anyway. Well, you're streaming on Reddit too. That. I'm streaming on both. It doesn't matter. I'm on the phone with Ethan. What's up? Hey, I have no idea like who you are. I just I was on Reddit and I saw you. Perfect. And I had to you're, stop. you're exactly who I want to talk to. I have no idea who you are. You have no idea who I am. What's oh. up? No, there's so much that we can figure out together. So I got There's something I really want to know. Like the first thing that popped into my mind when I saw you. Um, Tell me. Can I pull you like out of your character for a second? There's, I don't even think there is a character. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm surprised that no, I'm alive. They let me do this for this long. What's up? Okay. So, so why the why the whole gecko thing? God. Like, why not just yourself? I, I, oh well. If we're if we're asking why not just I, I, we're talking so much about me tonight. Uh, why not just myself? Yeah. Why the face? Well, look, from a marketing perspective, if I came out here and I was like, this is the Lyle show starring me, Lyle, everyone would be like, who gives a fuck about this? What the fuck is this stupid? But this is a, you know, it's a hook. It's a different thing. It's a whole, I I don't even know. I thought you were going to ask why a gecko, and I don't even have an answer to that question. Well, that was the second one. Is it just because you own a a gecko onesie or something? I work Uh, in marketing, uh, so when I saw you, the first thing that popped into my mind was marketing. uh, A large, um... Uh, a, a healthy percentage of the reason why it is a gecko is indeed because I already owned the gecko costume. <laughs> okay, fair enough. So, You're how are nice you, Nice voice. So, sorry, what did you say? I said you have a nice voice. You think so? Thank you. I appreciate yeah. that. I appreciate um, it. It's kind of fake, though. Like, I, I have a headset fake. and I use voice meter to, like, boost the bass a bit, make me sound sexier, but... 
Wait, is that true? It's not, all right, no. all right, hold yeah, on, hold a little on. Bit. Look, listen. Wait, what'd you say your name was yeah. again? Ethan. Ethan, all right, look, I gave you, I, I got out of my gecko character. You did? I think your stream froze you. on my stream. Oh, wait, no, it didn't. You were just standing very still it for a second. It might be the later no stream. Something. I stopped streaming 20 minutes ago. What's your, what's your real voice sound like? <laughs> um, not very different. I can just, like, adjust. Yeah, I hear it. This is just my real voice. Oh. It's, yeah. all right, it sounds... Uh, yeah, this is uh, your voice doesn't sound different. Voice. The it's audio quality of you sounds yeah, different. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not using like a voice changer or anything. It's just a little bass boosted. That's all. It's Let me my ask, radio voice. If I yeah, if you that. saw a stream on Reddit that was called the Lyle Show, you would scroll and it was just some random fucking 100%. guy. One hundred percent. You'd be like, "What the fuck? This is stupid." One hundred percent. I wouldn't 100%. even. I don't even watch our band. I think it's horrible. No. But exactly. uh, they just put it in your face. So I was yes. scrolling and I just saw green flashing in my screen and yes. green is, and marketing green is one of the one of the the, the primary sort of eye magnet colors actually. Interesting. Like YouTube Interesting. Thumbnails and shit. I did not know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did yeah. not know that. Like, I work in video games, so like when we make trailers and whatnot, green is one of the colors we used to sort of pop out from the other thumbnails on YouTube and whatnot. Real. All right, I'm gonna look for that now out in the wild. Yeah. Like video. Yeah. Okay, are, are, how much are you willing to share? What what what's the last video game oh. you worked on? Uh, I don't want to share that. I don't want to okay. like personally identifiable information, but for otherwise sure. anything sure. else. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you like Do you like working on video games? Is the company you? Right, you don't have to tell us what company you work for, but are no, they that's the evil? that's what I can't do. Yeah. Um, I. I've been in the industry for nine years now, and it's only been smaller indie studios. Oh, okay. Right. So teams, the smallest team I've worked at is right now, the team I'm in right now, there's seven of us, I think. Nice. The biggest team I've worked in was uh, 23, I think. So it's always small, small studios. Um, and I love it. I love it because it's a small studio, but uh, I love what I do. I don't love where I do it, if that makes sense. Mm, like location wise no like industry like i think the gaming industry is is ass it's okay horrible. you like marketing but you don't like gaming exactly but that's the problem it? though i like game marketing i just don't like the gaming industry it's what the worst like thing ever. the gaming industry oh god so many things so many things there's so many like like the, the teenagers in my family like my nephew and you know uh my nephew's friends and whatnot that always come to me asking me for like like advice or questions about how what do I have to study again in the gaming industry or whatever, yeah. and I feel horrible because I always tell them like, uh, you probably shouldn't. It's probably it shouldn't be your mm. first goal or not because it's it's a really it's a rough industry. I mean, every everybody that plays video games kind of and follows like the news knows a little bit. You know, there's crunch and the wages are kind of shit, and yeah. and uh, and there's that's the problem. Everybody wants to work in the gaming industry, so everybody's disposable up to a certain point even when you're mm. even when you're you're even when you're a senior it's kind of it it you know there's always going to be someone else that can replace you you know in a heartbeat it's not as bad when you work in smaller studios like i do which is why i do it because there's still sort of there's like a sense of family that that gets established right but then again that sense of family makes you feel guilty if you don't want to do overtime if you you know if you're yeah you ever Sorry, thought about, kind of are you, are you, you ever thought about starting your own game? I guess if I used game, to, this is, I used to, I used to, to have my own company. Yeah. I released the game on, I released the game on, on, on Android and iPhones a while back. And that's kind of what nice. kickstarted me. Like when I was in college, I just made a little game just for fun. And it, it kind of caught on, you know, like I, I was making a decent revenue, you know, like I bought a house, I bought a car, et cetera, so on and so forth. Fuck. And then I moved on to uh actually when i bought my house i started sort of getting anxious i'm a very anxious person i started getting anxious about not being able to afford my mortgage or whatnot and then i was like okay i want to i don't want to be like self-employed anymore because that's always riskier yeah so i went to look for a job somewhere like in, in, a, in, a, in a company which maybe was a mistake because game studios are not inherently more stable than being self-employed but it's kind of too late now hmm and that was nine years ago yeah. you were self-employed? Approximately, yeah. Mm. Why did I was you, still, I, I still had my... Uh... 
Sorry, oh, what, what's that? I was going to say I uh, I still had some some ad revenue from my games even when I was employed for the first couple of years. But then it kind of died down because I stopped updating. I stopped doing anything. Mm. Damn. Um... Oh yeah, I was gonna. Ask, what uh, 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 what made you want to get into the marketing side of it? Honestly, the game that I had running on mobile had a super heavy community aspect to it, and like, uh, so like the community management and whatnot. Like, it was a multiplayer online game. Think think like IO games a little bit. Uh, so there were a lot of people that like chatted, and we had forums for it, and it did, not a Discord back then. It was just forums. Uh, but eventually, we got a Discord after that, and. Uh, and and I like I was always good at like hiring people to be like moderators or administrators or and like just creating community events and whatnot. So when I wanted to get into into a, a studio, I, I was never a very good programmer actually. Like the whole code for the game that I made was was kind of trash, and I, I didn't have the confidence to you know to, to 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 get hired as a programmer. So I decided the next thing I can do is is community management and that's what i started as i started as a community manager so just like twitter facebook you know discord forums websites stuff like that and then quickly it, ev it evolved into like advertising and then marketing and then all that kind of stuff so uh, after you left your your gig uh you know with your own game what became yeah. of your community uh nothing it just kind of died down it was already starting to die down when i started deciding okay like th that's part of also what made me be like okay i have a house now i gotta pay mortgage i got bills to pay yeah. you know like i'm a grow i don't live with my mom anymore i gotta pay for my own shit yeah and the, i could see the community starting to die down i could see my passion starting to die as well so i knew i didn't have it in me to like keep like what kept it alive was updating the game you know like keeping new content coming in and more people doing it and eventually i just started losing interest and the community started dying down and uh eventually there just wasn't anyone anymore Mm. What do you think led to the downfall of the community? It was just your, your lack of passion and updating yes, the game? Yes, 100%. 100%. Mm. It was just me no longer updating the game. That's how it is in, 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 in games in general. There's, I feel like there's no such thing as, um, as like, there's no such thing. Uh, game, <laughs> gamers online, I hate saying that, but gamers online will get offended and, and upset about something, but it will never kill a community because 90% of people don't give a fuck. Like whenever in marketing, it happens a lot. It's happened in studios where I've worked where something controversial happened. Like, uh, uh, I don't know. And this is going to sound very controversial because what I'm about to say, very mean. It's not what I think as a person, but as a professional, I have to, you know, it's kind of my job. Mm -hmm. um, when, when, let's say, I don't know, let's say someone like the studio that I'm working at, they uh, release microtransactions to a game that previously didn't have microtransactions. And yes. now quote unquote, the community is really angry about it. They, they're they angry, they post on the forums, they go on the Discord, they're like, oh, you guys are selling out, you just want our money, no, no, no. Yeah. The answer I give like my bosses, quote unquote, every single time the shoot out of working it is, it doesn't matter. That's like, it's a vocal, it's always a vocal minority. People are gonna like, 5% uh, of the community is gonna be pissed for two, three weeks. They're gonna keep mentioning it here and there forever, but it's never gonna affect sales. It's never gonna affect things. Now, obviously there's obvious exceptions. There's there's big exceptions where like a studio does something absolutely atrocious and they like social suicide. But even then, like Cyberpunk 20, I don't know how much of a gamer you are. That's my I, 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 I know, I know peripherally that there's a bunch of shit going on with, with that, that game. Yeah, so Cyberpunk 2077 is a game that was announced like 13 years ago. And it, they the marketing team was exceptional in that game. It was like the best marketing I've ever seen. Like they just sold you... The, uh, a dream of a game like the game that would change everything and they kept delaying it to make it better delaying 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 for 13 i think it was 13 years or 12 years or something like that and it came out uh, you know this year uh, or last year actually and it was garbage it was like shit like it was buggy it, it didn't have half of the things they promised and despite that it's still one of the top no i think top cares. 10 yeah top 10 games sold on steam i almost like, feel like people the controversy get... even is like a marketing thing I would not. I wouldn't fucking it know what this be. game was if everyone wasn't yeah. pissed off about it. Yeah, all advertising is good advertising. Any attention is good attention when you're trying to sell something. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What did you but say? Yeah, there's man? Ethan. Ethan. Yeah. Real quick, uh, before I let you go, I want to know what. Yeah. All right, you don't like the gaming industry, but you like marketing. I. 
I like marketing and I like game marketing. I just don't like the, I wish the gaming industry would change. Where... I just wish the gaming industry wouldn't be what it is. What would you change about it? Oh, I don't think you can change. I think <laughs> maybe, that's, maybe I'm a bit of a hypocrite, but I guess what I would change about it is, is having less people wanting to be in the gaming industry so that us who are in the gaming industry don't have right. such a hard time. Because I think the root of our problems is that we're disposable. The root of our problems as, as people who work in the gaming industry um, is that if you don't like it, you can fuck off and someone will take your place. But with right? the, like the centralized, well, real, but like with the decentralization of whatever, and the fact that like, you know, anyone who, who learns how to program can just make a game on their own. Yeah. Like if you're like a Toby yeah. Fox kind of guy, you know. Yeah. But not even. That... No, not at all. Because the amount of like you, anyone can make a game, but it's the same way as as influencers. Maybe that's something you're more familiar with. The industry of influencers. You, I, I didn't even check your Twitch. I have no idea like how famous you are. But assuming you're relatively successful, you probably know how lucky you are. I'm not saying there's no skill in it. Of course, there's a lot of skill in it. But at the same time, there's a lot of luck in it too, right? Yes. Like out of how many people are streaming on Twitch right now that have like zero viewers? I think there's a website that literally shows you a list of all the people streaming with zero viewers. And it's like thousands, right? That's true. It's yes. the same thing with games. There's thousands of games that are made and a handful that that get any sort of attention whatsoever if you check on steam i think in 2017 there was something like 7000 games released in 2018 i think it was 9000 right but how many and of those games a day that's are every just total every, trash uh probably a lot especially since steam doesn't doesn't uh since steam doesn't uh what's the fucking word doesn't ta doesn't tailor no what's the word i forgot doesn't uh curate there it is Steam doesn't curate what games go on Steam. Any game is allowed to be on Steam. I think they have like three rules or it's like nothing illegal, like, you know, the obvious like like murders, like actual videos of murders or, or, or like children involved in sexual scenarios or, you know, the obvious things that are not allowed. But besides that, they don't curate whatsoever. There's some pretty horrible games on Steam, uh, which also don't get any attention, like you said. But there's also amazing games that get no attention as well. Well, Ethan, what's next for you? Oh fuck! I hate that question. Uh, wow, I really don't like that question. I also don't like the "What's your paradise?" question. I listened for a little bit before I called in, but what what else do you hate <laughs> about my stream? Nothing. I think you're a very very nice guy. Actually, I appreciate you a lot. But I hate the "What is your?" I could what be is, a nice I hate guy the "What is a bad stream?" You you don't have a bad stream. I think it's a really good streamer. I wouldn't stop to listen in and call in. Uh, I, I, what I don't like, okay, I don't like the what's no, your paradise or, or what's what's in the future for you question because it's a question that scares me because I don't have an answer for it and I feel like I should. Mm. I feel like I should have a goal. I should have a paradise, but I don't. I feel like, like okay, hey, Ethan, what is your dream in life? Like if I could snap my fingers right now and get anything, what would it be? And I don't know what it would be because I'm doing well financially. I'm relatively healthy. There's some flaws about me, which I wish I didn't have, but there's, I don't, you know what I mean? It's scary. Like everybody you ask, they have these dreams and these passions and these, but I have nothing. I have like, no, like I enjoy life. I'm not suicidal. Like I have fun living, uh, you know, I'm happy with what I have, but I don't have like a, an end goal, you know? Do you need an, an end Goal? Well, we all have. Well, you're uh, asking people what their end goal is, right? What's your paradise? No, That's what your asking, end goal is. Right? Uh, uh, well, really, I mean, well, well, okay. Look, really, if we're being honest, the question is just a, a starting point to whatever the conversation turns into. Fair um, enough. Um, but I don't think a paradise is necessarily uh, uh, an end point, or a pair or a goal even. Could just be. Like that, like that guy who called in and said that he, you know, his paradise is to marry Anna Kendrick. I don't think he has a legitimate, you know, five-step, long, five-year fucking plan to do that. I think it's just, you know, a fantasy. Yeah. What What's your paradise, Lyle? I like the name Lyle, by the way. I really like Thank that you. name. Thank you. I like the name Ethan. What's your paradise? Uh, 
Let me be the gecko for a second. Is it my look, dude, my parasites is anything that gets me into a flow state. Anything that gets me uh, out of my own fucking head and uh, uh, doing a thing as opposed to in my head uh, thinking about shit. You What's know? wrong with being in your head? There's nothing wrong with it, but I just don't like it as a personal preference. What do you not like about it? If you don't mind me asking, <sighs> I don't want to... I, you know what, Ethan? I've talked too much about myself this evening. No, you, I, I've been listening for at least 30 minutes. You don't talk about yourself much. I mean, people are interested in you, I guess, but I just, I like, I would ask this question even if it wasn't you, even if you weren't like streaming to a few people or whatever. Uh, Why, this is really interesting to me because I have an answer to that very question that I'm asking you. And I don't talk about it to anybody usually in real life. And I wouldn't talk about it to you if I wasn't anonymous, but I will. Yeah, why don't you like being in your head? I just don't, it doesn't make me happy to do that, you know? It makes me happy. Is it like, like no, negative it's not thoughts? Like, you know, no, it's not like negative thoughts or anything. It's just, I like having focused energy. Okay. All right. But, um, but yeah, man. Uh, yeah. Are you doing all right, Ethan? <laughs> I, I'm, yes, why? Like I said, I think I'm doing good. I think I'm doing good. I wasn't doing great a year ago, and now comparatively, I think I'm doing good. Well, Ethan, man, look, it's been a pleasure talking to you. It's and been a pleasure uh, talking to you too, man. You have a great rest of the night, and best of luck to you as you try to figure out what that end goal is. Or accept <laughs> your faith. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Keep it up. Take care, man. Of course. Good night, man. Bye-bye.